Welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to play the last match of the league uh, 2020, uh, sorry 2030-2031. As you can see, a bit of a spoiler on the screen, we have already won the league so we were crown champions, we got about 9 points in hand. Um, yeah, so we are playing now against Luton who are trailing at 19th. And you can also see that a board, that the board has given us 24 million uh, transfer budget for next year with uh, just over a quarter of a million, well, well a third of a million really, um, of wage budget. So big, big money, <coughs> excuse me, my voice just broke there, big money there for next season. We're not used to having this much money, so we'll see how the transfer window goes in the summer. And also finance-wise, I don't know where the money is going to come from. Um, I don't know if the board is planning to inject money or what's going to happen, but anyway. Yeah, so I guess we'll catch up in the middle. I might actually break the episode and then catch up again in the middle. Anyway, so the top story is we're going to try keep this guy scoring goals because Emra is at the moment fighting for best goal scorer of the season. As long as Mick can't uh, catch up, then he'll get that reward, or award I should say. And, uh, yeah, uh, no, that's wrong, that should be there. Okay. Da, da, da. So that is a great way, to, a great place to finish. I wasn't expecting to be promoted this year. I wasn't even expecting to reach the playoffs, but we, we were doing quite well by the kind of the mid season, the mid season, and um, we ended up losing Emra through, through to injury. So I thought that that would go downhill, but we seem to have just done really well. Um, Looking forward to playing in the Premiership next season as well. It's been quite tough for me on a personal level to carry on playing because life's been so busy. So apologies. I kind of sometimes I have to put the game down, just kind of save it, walk away from it, and then come back to it later. So I don't always remember everything that's going on. Oh, one thing that's happened recently is um, the new youth intake. And that was not as bad as I thought it would be. We're still trailing behind a little bit compared to the other teams, but um, but we did get some some nice players. No one good enough to experiment with in the first team, but that that wouldn't be expected anyway. So that's okay. That's another goal here. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Nathan Lamy. great goal. Goalkeeper totally out of position there. Now this is quite exciting now because I've never had this sort of money up to now. I don't even know where the money is going to come from just yet um, so we'll see. But having the budget to actually go out and get some decent players is quite exciting. This is all this is all wrong because I was playing on the laptop and now I'm not on the big screen, so all the dimensions are wrong. Emre uh, Tezjal uh, hasn't scored yet, so hopefully make whoever hasn't scored yet either. One in, let one in. Luton's been doing quite well. They were at one point out in the relegation zone, but they managed to pull themselves up and above. Good for them. Swansea actually had 12 points docked. Because 
because they infringed. Um, uh, well, they went into administration essentially. So. I'm gonna have to get him out as well. He's not gonna score, is he? So, fingers crossed, he can still keep the record. Put some fresh legs in and hope for the best. the end of the game let's see where that leaves us in terms of goal scoring and then what I'll do I'll skip ahead and come back in a few minutes with all of the news so if we go to stats play stats uh, most goals this doesn't look right most goals ah he got overtaken Oh well, never mind. So next season, who knows? Mick scored obviously two goals in that last last match because he had twenty goals. Anyway, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, and I'll come back with any news in terms of budgets and so on. So see you very shortly. And I'm back, and the main news is um, as far as ink sponsorships, we got we have some new. Sponsors, you can see lots and lots and lots and lots of them there. Uh, three additional club partners. Oh. So club, three club partners, lots of general. I'm not sure why we have quite so many. Main kit as well. So we had an income. Uh, I think we still have some to come because we haven't gotten the solidarity payment yet. But we did get the sponsorship, which is about one million more than last year. Uh, ticket sales, season tickets have gone up 20%. Um, and we got nearly three more million so far. What else we have? I think that's it. Expenditure, we're investing in a new training ground. So that's the biggest thing. And also we're expanding the stadium. So if we go to... A club vision board, and we'll just ongoing. So we've got in progress. We've got a three uh, a stadium ex a spa stadium expansion. Wow, the words aren't coming out. Stad stadium expansion. Oh gosh, I really can't say that. Stadium expansion due to be completed in three weeks, and then a four month. Uh, upgrade to training facilities so that will take us up to I think the the maximum because we are in excellence I think the next thing is the next thing superb or is the next thing state of the art I don't know I can't remember uh, yeah so the planned works are an additional thousand seats so they're gonna convert some of the some of the standing seats to seated seats or standing space to, to seated seats I guess plus uh, installing some undersoil heating as well so the capacity will stay the same but, but they will be sat rather than um, rather than standing seats so that's not really an increase but we'll be able to charge more for it so if we go to average ticket, ticket price that's gone up Obviously, the average season ticket has also gone up as well. Um, I think that's it for now. So it's June now, 12th of June, and we're just waiting. Basically, I tend to wait for the 1st of July before I start doing transfers and so on, but I've gotten rid of our loans already. There's just this guy here, which I'll have to wait until July comes around. And as far as transfers, um, oh, I need to look into this as well. Yeah, no chance. Um, yeah, uh, this budget, oh, we still don't have the money for it, so we'll, 
we'll see where that money is coming from. I'm not going to sell this clause because the amount they're offering is, to be honest, ridiculous. I don't know how much Alistair's worth nowadays. It might be useful to run a report on him. Uh, uh, Scout player. Okay, I just want to get... Mm, no, I don't want that. I don't want to have to pay for it. I, it doesn't matter. I don't think I'm. I don't think it's worth it just for that that much money. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens with that scouting budget. I haven't set it yet. I haven't used it, but we've got a decent amount, so we'll be able to pick something decent out of it. Um, okay, I'm going to press on with this, and um, I'll catch up with you again in the next episode, which will be after the transfers um, to show you. The brand new squad. The squad will be the unveiling of the new squad for the first time in the Premiership. It's quite exciting. We've got a lot of money to spend, and I'm going to try to spend it wisely um, for, you know, trying to not get relegated next season. I think that's the main aim. Thanks so much for watching until the end. It's quite exciting. Sorry, the, this episode is really, really quick because, you know, I'm trying. I'm quite busy, and I'm trying to get these out before the next. Um, the next version of the game, the game comes out in October, so a lot to do um, between now and then. Thanks a bit, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.